Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is October the 10th and it actually marks the first day of my delivery sort of journey. Um, so I just thought I would document the journey essentially. So today is the day I'm going in for a sweep. We call it, I think it's called a cervical sweep. Um, in case you're not familiar with that, guys, is basically um how am i even gonna explain it so basically like a sweep that you do around your cervix and that's supposed to help sort of get things moving when it comes to like you getting contractions and stuff like that i i, I you told you guys that they were planning to induce so they are actually um doing this step first before um, i mean they'll see how things go um before I go in on Wednesday to have like the proper induction started so I'm actually super excited but at the same time I'm so nervous because I've never had a sweep done before and I don't really know what it's going to feel like but I know it's going to be pretty uncomfortable because they're going to have to get in there if you get what I mean um so but anyways I am excited that definitely within the next few days this week we will definitely have baby. Um, the last time that I saw the midwife, she did say that um, when I go in, they're going to examine me and see basically the condition of my cervix. So if it happens that I'm kind of dilating already, then they may not necessarily have to consider it. So I don't know. I'm going to go in and see how that goes. I feel like I've been getting some kind of contractions I may be totally wrong, guys, honestly, but I do feel like I have been contracting. It might just be really intense Braxton Hicks um, because when that happens, I can feel how my stomach gets super hard. And um, obviously, it's not like anything. It's not that bad, but definitely I've been noticing sort of a bit of discomfort down there. Anyways, when I go in today, they'll tell me exactly what's going on and basically how everything is going to be. I'm recording with my phone because when I when I'm sort of about out and about today, I don't know if I'll have energy to carry a camera. So I'm just gonna be probably vlogging with my phone, guys. It's very I don't know, things may not happen today, but I'm gonna carry you guys throughout the journey. So this morning I'm just getting my son ready for school my daughter is still sleeping you can probably hear her like you know snoring and all that i think i'm just gonna have to like i don't know just get her out of bed and just take her to school like that i usually do a school one with her because in the mornings it's usually just me and the kids um because my husband works quite early in the morning so he's already left for work um so yeah, I have to do what I have to do. So I also need to get to the post office because I've got some orders that I need to um, post. And it's such a cloudy day today, guys. Honestly, it is raining, it's dark. Um, yeah, I hate days like this because especially when I have to be out because obviously it just gets wet with the kids in it and stuff. Ah, oh, I just hate it. Obviously, I have a car, but still... <laughs> Still, because when I get to my son's school, I have to park and then walk a little bit to actually like get into his teachers at the gate. So, yeah, I'm really not looking forward to that. It looks like it's going to be a wet school school run this morning. Um, so I'm just going to get his bag ready. I think I've talked too long. This is such a long introduction. I'm going to get his bag ready and then we can just leave the house because I don't want him to be late. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Bad man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This body baby. Oh. Ah, this body baby. Oh. Hey guys, so I've actually got to the hospital. Um I sorry I'm recording here it's just because I thought I was going to be late. So I left in a little bit of a hurry. Um but I'm actually on time and I've got I think 10 minutes. I actually don't know where I'm going. So it'll be quite nice um, to use these 10 minutes that I've got now to just find my way. Um, it's not at the usual place where I go for my antenatal. Seems like it's a different, it's a different ward. So um, 
yeah i'm here we're about to go and get this week done hopefully it's not as hobo as i'm thinking it will be um but i kind of know what to expect because i feel like she's probably gonna try and get in there <laughs> do you get what i mean like that's it um i don't know hopefully it's not gonna be as uncomfortable as perhaps getting your waters broken because that i've had done before um but i've never had but i've never had a sweep before so anyways um can you see how the weather's changed like the sun is out and it's hot um so much better than it was this morning this morning was literally so cloudy and wet and all of that so yeah i brought my daughter with me because i was like i couldn't be bothered to drive to my sister's place honestly we just i was just thinking about it i was like it's an extra journey for me and to be completely honest guys i'm so tired as well i really feel like i need a nap but obviously i have to be here so i just thought i'll call a midwife and just ask if i could come with her and she said yes yeah, fine if you haven't got childcare, it's okay just come with her um so here we are i'm gonna go with the little madame hopefully she's not gonna bother me i'm just gonna give her my phone to watch cartoon while we get on with whatever we need to do and then i've got the school run again this afternoon so hopefully we could be done on time for me to go home and get a little nap because honestly i'm tired she's yeah. getting to this point now yeah, where fine. i feel like i just want this baby out of me you know i really just want this baby out of me and to know that it's gonna happen this week is super exciting so anyways i'll let you guys know how this week goes i don't think here we're allowed to record i think it's, this hospital has a policy yeah, that you're not allowed to like have your phone or record anything so i don't think i will be able to record me going through the process but i'll talk you guys through basically what happened so i'm going to update you so we need to go this way yes. Baby Bob. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I've got um, a cervical sweet at one o'clock. Oh, okay, if you come in and go into the bay on the right hand side, you really want three of them. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hi guys, your girl is back from doing the sweep. That thing is so uncomfortable. Oh my goodness, honestly. Because she literally puts her, her fingers, like a couple of fingers in there and she reaches as far down as possible. So that thing is, oh, literally the level of discomfort is, is something else. The sun is just right in my face. Gosh. Yeah. So it is very, very uncomfortable. But then the good news is um i'm one to two centimeters dilated already um so i've just got my report here so i'm one to two centimeters dilated so from what she's saying is that uh we're hoping that obviously this sweep does something uh meaning that i go on to start having contractions on my own obviously if that doesn't happen then on thursday i'm going to go in for proper induction so she's saying that by the time i come on thursday we might be they might be able to break my waters straight away which means hopefully fingers crossed it's going to be like a similar experience to what i had with my daughter when i um when i was giving birth to her because i literally just went in i was two centimeters gone they broke my waters and i had the epidural and everything was just so peaceful and so smooth um so i'm hoping that it's the same this time so yeah that's what she's saying that they might be able to just break my waters when i come in so i have to wait for the call on thursday if nothing happens between now and then um when they've got like a a bed available so yeah i'm super excited i'm excited i'm already two centimeters gone and i'm not and i didn't really feel anything um yeah so anyways i just thought i'll give you guys this little update and my zoe was so good she didn't disturb nothing she's such a good girl so i'm gonna go home now see if i can get a nap then go for the school run and then just come with the rest of my day i think i might actually close the vlog here um 
because there's not really anything else <laughs> happening for the rest of the day apart from those things that i've just mentioned so yeah this is like a pre-labor kind of situation obviously if things do change i will update you guys um so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next vlog bye